Welcome back to the Sand Pond Saga. Let's get started. Space Toad is a spatial programming language. It lets you write spatial code that's easier to read and write. You do it by drawing little diagrams, which is heavily inspired or stolen from Splat by Dave Ackley. For example, here's sand written in Space Toad. You can write all sorts of things like water, lava, explosion, fork bomb, meteor, rabbit. For all of these elements, it takes your beautiful code and translates it into ugly JavaScript that should hopefully just work. Today, I want to show you how it does that. So let's say you've coded a sand element and this is its code. First, it looks at what symbols you've used in diagrams. In this case, we've used the underscore symbol and the at symbol. It looks up the code for what those symbols represent. The underscore represents an empty space. The at symbol sort of represents this atom. In this case, this sand atom. Let's store those away for later. Then it starts to look at your diagrams, which are called rules. If the first rule matches, it follows the first rule. But if not, it tries the second rule. Let's look more closely at just the first rule now. It works out everything it needs to know to check if the rule matches. This is represented by the left hand side of the diagram. Then it works out how it would follow the rule. This is represented by the right hand side of the diagram. So that's the first rule done. The second rule gets generated in the same way. There is a slight difference here because it also picks a random direction to do this rule in. So it randomly picks from a list of different choices. Finally, we just need to glue it all together. And there we have our finalized JavaScript code for the sand element. Space Toad is currently active on the development branch of Sandpond. You can try it out at dev.sandpond.cool, but it is likely to be broken at any time. Now I want to write loads of elements into Space Toad. For example, I want to re-implement all sorts of things from the main branch. For example, fireworks, electronics, weather, portals, and the demon horde sort, some dodgy giraffes, ants, fish, me, and some other weird stuff. There's also a load of elements I used to have on an even older version, like the snake, clear, rope, wipe. I've still got a lot to implement in the Space Toad language. So by going through these elements, I plan to add all its features over time. So that's what I'm going to do next. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. See you later.